Yeah, and for Astralis, the results have actually looked really, really good recently. So let's see if they can step up to the plate and take on some of the big boys in Group B. It won't be an easy road to the playoffs of Cologne. Fast out into the A site. It's a donut split, but Mains here getting taken back. And G2 have so many players and so much control. They will just swipe the ball clean of Astralis. Two on four. Stairs lost in the smoke. And Blame goes back to maybe an empty B bomb site. Nico's keeping an eye on it, though. And he's got support, so this should just be dead in the water. Uh, yeah, look at it, man. G2 are just swarming here. Sure, might have had a chance on that first guy, but you weren't going to go any further than that. So the pistol round is found dominantly out of G2, and, it, and it's hunted to do the bulk of the heavy lifting. Yeah, a big part of it as well, like, because, you know, you, we kind of gloss over it when you're talking changes is the one on change man in device. He's been, uh, he's been fantastic yeah. since his return. Hello, JKS was on for the ace right there, but he won't quite get it, will he? So, Hunter, yeah, it, it's been a treat. Now that there's this supporting cast around, let's get into this first rifle round. Ooh. Out into mid for Borup, and he's fed to the Wolves. A triple set up there to open for G2. They had every intent to fight for this mid control. They're going to keep pushing the issue. And they will feed one to blame F, but it's punished, it's returned, and we end up back in this three on three with the way in for Astralis appearing over here towards B. Oh, yeah, they just had to go there into the B bomb site. It's all they had. Hooksy, good to even get a one for one there as he flashes himself back out cave. JKS is very close, but he doesn't want to play active. He's all alone. Device just walks backwards in. They thought no one would possibly go through that CT smoke. And it's left Buzz in the clutch. 1v2. JKS making moves, but also needs to be patient because Nico is on a long rotation round. He can start running now. The plant's been heard. Buzz given nothing in this clutch. And the more time he wastes, the closer G2 get ready to trade this kill out. JKS can swing as soon as Nico finds that contact and it's not even needed. Nico closes it and G2 find 3-0. And so Astralis might just have to, again, go with what they've got. The smoke's towards the B-bomb site. Blame lurking A main gives them a get out clause. Let's see if Astralis take it. This is far from a commitment. Oh, oh, it's a little awkward at top ramp. Hunter wasn't oh, quite ready for that. it. Stair's going to spam him out in reply. They're still battling up the ramp side here. That bomb's going to be retrieved by Stair as well. And this is where we have to Look see where they want to go with it. Yeah, they're taking it back. And that's because of Blame F. As you highlighted earlier on, he left that back door open to get a little tricky with it in the mid round. And now he's very, very deep. When it oh. goes quiet like this, you're expecting that they've got room somewhere, on, uh, somewhere else on the map. But even though JKS had an inkling, it wasn't enough to give him an edge in that fight. And now we get to this 1v2 for Monacy. And so the big question for Monacy now is, can he find even just a shred of information to play this 1v2 out? He's going to go in. Gets given a fight from up on top of the boost, but that tag brings him down even lower. And I think that should just seal the deal on the round. Monacy, or to his knees by Stair, who, who goes, on a, goes on a tear in that round there, doesn't he, right? Using this util and a couple of nice boosts to clear out the cave, playing it safe. G2 are full grouped over here in middle. They want to make some moves, and JKS opens the round. They know the location of the M4. The, the AWP was last spotted over towards B. Oh, dear. Right now, both Monacy and JKS have taken up position over towards the lane, and that's another kill for these hero guns. Oh, oh but it's swiftly returned back the other way. JKS... The last one of the hero weapons standing. He'll put it to good use. He's done a lot of damage on this flank up through middle. How much can the pistols be expected to get away with? That dink is nice. A bit more damage downrange means that G2 can give this 2v2 a look in. They've not got a kit, though. That's the big problem. And once Device clears out this flank, he can try and cover the cross onto Borup. He has his back turned. Borup a swing, and he shuts it down. Thank goodness with a double spray. That was so awkward. Device is back completely open, and he did not seem aware how competitive G2 make it with that late mid reaggression, the climb up. What a shot for Borup. You'll take it if you're Astralis. But yeah, we played a lot of Ancients, and so he's comfortable doing everything. Oh, Buzz dead over in middle, JKS fighting alongside him, full blind to the flashbang, and that's when Blame F goes out swinging. 
Going to keep the mid-fight in favor of Astralis. And they've done well yeah. to repel that. That was kind of what uprooted the early game oh. for Astralis. Borum nails the entry in towards B. And it feels like Astralis do kind of want to uh, exploit the fact that Hooksy finds himself over towards this B side of the map. And I mean, Cologne is synonymous with Astralis, even if, you know, they don't have the trophies in the cabinet. Since that point, everything's come up Astralis. So they did really regain control over oh, this map. Again. Spam through mid for Hunter. He's good at it. Woo! Another one wow. out of Hunter. He knows his lineups through this smoke. A scary place to find yourself. No one from G2 <laughs> has even seen an opponent in this round. And there two and is. a half players are dead. Finally, Monacy and Device lock eyes and lock horns over towards ramp. And it's Monacy to come out ahead. Buzz getting closer and G2 ready to swing on short as well. Yeah, Jake Hess and Hunter have stopped waiting around over towards Donuts, so they're even coming in on the flank here. Even though there's real estate being gained up ramp, you, you've still got to battle your way into this. And Ooh. Buzz will at least gain control of the site. Well, this bang. is where the flank through cave and up ramp looks to come in and save the day for G2. Two bullets left in the gun. It was never meant to be for Buzz, so he will just get swarmed. Uh, there's some counter util back from G2 to kind of throw the timings off of this. Astralis have to wait this molly out, so they're going to keep replenishing util. But here's the push. Yeah, JKS anti flash, but the second one gets him as they come swinging. Great entry for Borup again. Three on two. Astralis have the sight, but as you said, though, those timings are aloof. Those smokes are fading quickly, and nades are being pulled. Hooksy not seen getting into the corner, and Buzz takes a step too far. Blame has him trapped, but flashed out. Hooksy looks for a second, and Device is now in the clutch up against the kid. Yeah, the go v the kid. This is a big one. Device on the line, AWP in hand. Monacy, oh, little jump check. Device knows he's been spotted. Going to try and reposition a play around the bomb. Knows he can win this without ever even fighting Monacy. Monacy's the one feeling all the pressure in this clutch. Tap on the bomb. Device yeah. will swing it, and Monacy nails the shot. Perfectly played in the 1v1. Did exactly what he had to do. Great awareness from him there. Wins the round for G2. Dude, Monacy just makes every clutch so easy, and it's even just the micro details that you pointed out. That little jump check behind the box, he's almost impossible to hit, but he gets info, and that's what forces Device into a very uncomfortable post-plant position. Easy shot for Monacy. That flash does nothing. 5v3, but he wants to remain mobile on this AWP, right? He wants to keep them guessing, and by taking this real estate, he holds a very serious sightline once again over towards the lane. They've kind of been using Monacy as an aerial, de uh, an area denial weapon, right? He just kind of takes these lines, takes this space, and safeguards the fact that it can't be the B play. And so once more, G2 have got a lot of resources leaning over towards mid, leaning over towards Donut. They are more than ready for this A play. The Hooks is loose today. He's playing, he's playing very well. He's got a lot of swing kills in these rounds, man. He's had openers. Leaving the B site hold entirely on the back of one man. So it's a retake B set up here for G2. Oh, that, if anything, sells a bit of a fake buzz falling off there. But Nico spotted something up B, and we said it was time for him to get activated. This could be that round. Peaked from the site. He's going to be helped out by Hunter as Blame is left in a clutch with a Deagle, finishing what he started. Couple of low players. Blame takes a couple oh. more shots, but Hunter is here to save the day with four <laughs> kills on the anti -eco. Ooh, not nervous at all. Bomb is out mid right now. Buzz is looking for an A pick, and G2 are trying to force these fights. That's a huge entry for Buzz, but the flash, I mentioned it, it comes right through, and it offers great results. Hunter has the world on his shoulders, and Device has plucked him apart. Plant's going to come in. Monacy's here as the first man on the scene, the first responder, but everyone else is a long way away. He's going to get re-smoked over towards CT, so no chance to play his impact early. He's going to have to wait for everyone else to join up with him now. Device owns this angle. Hooksy is lining up a flash, but it's got to be good. Oh. It blinds Device, and it doesn't matter. He doesn't need vision. He does it on feeling, does Device. And they've got to save. And that's a done deal. Unless... Sure, the one kill from Nico makes it an even odds bout, but, but so much time has elapsed. Too much I time shot. has elapsed. And even though Hooksy knocks out another, it doesn't matter. G2 are not going for this. They didn't have the time. That one kill from Device, surgical in precision through the temple, makes all the difference. It, it just writes that retake off. You never even have to worry about it.
backer behind B doors. Blame's going to walk into this orb. It's a missed shot, but Hunter's here for support. And another one of Astralis' ideas is thrown in the bin. Back to the B walk. Good timing on Hooksy's peak again. The hero of this CT side, and Nico is right beside as these two players put up what seems to be round 15. Blame and Buzz on a retrieval mission. And you can feel that G2 think they've done enough, that, that they've won this round, right? They shut down the mid play. Now they've got the bomb outside of B. They know that they've they've pulled the wall over Astralis' eyes here. So a fantastic back and forth in this game. And in the end, G2 are the ones able to rise above it, winning out this first half at 9-6. to six. As we head into the second half, I'm hoping that we can see Astralis set this precedent all over again like we got in the first. So G2, whatever they had planned is now denied. Even that smoke lands. They can redo it. They can give it another go. Hunter has a second, but the flank is in and Device has already executed that man, dropping his bounty on the ground. There's Hooksy around the corner. Device caught on a reload, might get bailed out or at least traded by Stair. Astralis can reset. They've already caused a ruckus in this round, a four on three where G2 are quaking at their boots. Yeah, every bone in your body is almost telling you that you that you need to try and pressure this deep mid player before he Ooh. gets away. And so JKS will do exactly that. It's traded back by Blamer, who takes it one step further and nails them from the cubby. The bomb now loose in middle, and Nico left in this one all alone. Now, he's been a little quiet in this game, has Nico. Hasn't really been in a position where he's had to stand and deliver. But this is that moment. He has to take the bomb A. They're already splitting up. This is a perfect call for Astralis. Nico needs kills, and they're not even going to be offered. This one is unwinnable for Nico. Mm. Even if he finds Blame, and he won't do that. Three kills for Blame F. The captain stands tall, and Astralis steal the pistol. There's nothing more frustrating. Instead, now, Astralis know that players were boosted, know that players are ramped, know that G2 are looking for their picks here. And so the flashes are dodged. There's three players inside of the site. Astralis have got the read. They've got it on lockdown. Bomb gets away from G2. And this one looks to be around. They forget about Ouch. Nico's Deagle oh, and yeah. Hooksy on the Tech 9. Hang on a second. They'll find a killer piece. The backstab looks to put Hooksy in a box and it will deal with him. Nico is overran. And so Astralis, they dust themselves off. They get composed once it gets down to the 2v2. Selling it by himself. As G2 go very quick up the lane as well. Blame on an off angle catches his, but continued aggression from Stair as he gets flashed through on the cave and takes another opener. Trying to take the AK, lost the smoke. Nico will not forget nor forgive. And that's such an important kill. Without mm. that, this round is dead in the water. Honestly, I'm through the ramp and Nico trying to gain entry into the cave. 50-50 angle and he'll choose wrong. Oh. There's a flash teed up out of device and that allows Buzz a very easy path. Him and Borup lock down B between the two of them and they'll repel that G2 offensive. Smokes in, device with his shot and G2 run up the ramp. And now you feel like, you know, your thoughts about how this round was going to pan out are correct if you're Astralis. They had so many bodies ready to reinforce B. When you see that first man around the corner at ramp, you're kind of rubbing your hands together. You're smiling to yourself. Oh, we read them like a book again, didn't we? We might have this Nico Borup fight, but ultimately it won't matter as much as this A hit. Yeah, and because they only have one smoke here, you had to pick an angle. You can't deal with all of them, even though Nico gets Big. this kill with some time left. Hang on, they have the to bomb go actually going to go, go back. Now They've never. got a full run. They've got a run on this. Even slowing down for a second could cost them, and Monacy did. Got to go through Rooting mid. in through yeah. middle, yeah, it's the only option. And now, Astralis, Ooh. it all becomes clear. The lack of that smoke at CT gave them open sight lines. They know that it's not the A play anymore, so it's got to be B. It's got to be where Nico resides. Can he hold the site long enough? Oh! Nico's dead. Stair has destroyed G2 in this round. And Hunter, as he plugs in these digits, he's got to find his way in the 1v2 wow. device. Will not let him have it. That Beautifully is done for Astralis. Absolute insanity for Stair. Sure, they get the bomb part, but that was never going to happen. Trapped in on default with device locking you in. Stair does the impossible. Crazy. That's Just, why they picked this kid up. Yeah, I, you know, that's why he was touted. It's, you know, the, the kind of big up and comer that everyone should be looking at in Denmark. Up close in cave, it's now an AWP and even a third rotation device in a head-to-head. -head. Modesty makes it look easy as usual. 
And Stair getting anchored in here as Buzz comes in for support. They were trying to walk close top ramp, right? They, they almost wanted Flash. to try and take this ramp fight, and it was meant Ooh. to be supplemented with that flashbang. But G2 are ready for it, and Buzz is overran, overwhelmed. B crumbles before your very eyes. And this one's G2's all damn day. This AWP could get dropped, and in a world where the AWP oh, gets Nico. dropped over, suddenly this is all up in the air. Oh, Nico what? tried to move in and lend a helping hand, but he is deleted, and Monacy is fed to the Wolves. And they're going back. They know that all of B has been cleared, so even though it's not a stack right now, Astralis know everything is going on. I like this call for G2 just because they might catch Astralis resetting and flanking, and that's where Buzz is found. It's one step back in what is a three on five, but it should never have been this hard in the first place. Stralis have made this round interesting. Can they do any more? Borup's got something. Second kill. Two on four for G2. Their whereabouts known by Astralis. Everyone's here. Blame on the flank. A late backstab. Two kits. It's not like Astralis are uncomfortable mm. about playing retake, but they've given G2 the room. Will they regret it? Yeah, one and done is not enough here. You need multi-kills out of the surviving oh, players. Yes. And Justin never fires a bullet. Hooksy boxed in. Boxed in a corner. And Borup... Even though the claws are out for Hooksy, Borup will overwhelm him. Now it's going to come down to this first fight in Monacy. It's this awkward 50-50 angle. Again. And once again, oh, look oh, to be dear. fruitful for Astralis. Oh. Little ugly from Borup. Monacy not able to punish that swing out into the cave. They play through the molly. They play ahead of it. This is a very uncomfortable round for Stair. He is kind of in this no man's land in the sights. So wow. They try to tee him up with flashbangs. He's going to take the space back. Beautifully done from Stair. Creating something from nothing for Astralis. Doing it all. Just JKS oh. left standing. But he's going to bring it down to a 1v1. Blame F, full HP and all the reasons to win this round. All JKS has is this plant. Gonna back up, look to play around it. Ready for the cave swing, and even though he lands the tag, it's Blame F, the captain, with one hell of a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> for the flash, he hunts Monacy on the AWP, and then he goes back in for more with a flashback. That's such a ballsy play for Stair. This guy is not scared of G2 right now, and the results are speaking for themselves. More and more clutch rounds coming through for Astralis. Another 1v1. <laughs> And that should alert G2 that Astralis have gone for ramp info. Borup's leaning back to go gamble. Blame gets that timing check on the Hunter, who's had a pretty hard half here despite his first looking so good. Four on three. Borup keeps his eyes back on that B bomb site, and he's got Blame by his side. Good flash. On this, on this T side, Nico's been the guy to, to, to find rounds for G2. Uh, and this one's got to be no exception, right? He started the round off taking space at B. If he can box them in a little bit along, if he can force a bit of respect on this retake, that would nice. mean the world to G2. It's Monacy oh. to find it, and Nico follows up with a gnarly tap. Can't go any further, however. And now it is left onto Monacy. Doesn't have the big green. Oh, he would no, love it, it right now. And they've heard these steps. They know he's out at long. Now it's a bit of a mind game. Bomb not planted for oh, Monacy. Dear. Nearly catches Blame crossing in. But Monacy has got to push up. He's got to close the gap. And in doing so, he plays right into the hands of Buzz. That is Blame playing the numbers as he does, right? Even though his style has been under critique for years. Bomb returning nice. to join up with Nico over here at B. Him and Hunter have walked right on through, and Stair is not yeah. aware of this. The timings are everything here. How quickly do they learn Ooh. about the long play? Borup ready for one, not ready for Ooh. two. And it's Hunter who digs the grave of Astralis in this round. Device looks to close the net, make it a little closer. Get spotted from the site onto the AWP now. Gonna have to try and slice it and dice a way back into this for Astralis. Gotta be surgical with the AWP, and they swing him together. They count it down, and Device's death certificate is signed. G2. But that could have gone very wrong for G2. Great entries for Hunter. Like I said last round, I mean, he had, he had 18 kills first half. He, he found, he's just found as many kills in that round as he has in the entirety of the T side so far. So, big 3K. The side-by-side -side walk into B for him and Nico. Even though Astralis consider that possibility, on the most likely site that G2 set their eyes on. Yeah, it's forced him into this kind of awkward angle. He has support nearby. It's a donut pick. 
But the bomb's still coming back B, going into the Astralis stack, and there's not really enough time left to change your mind on this device. Wins that okay. first one, and now can re-smoke the cave. Stair can hold that. That frees up device to go and play for this ramp fight. Uh -oh. G2 are uh -oh. going to try and change this one. Oh, the bomb's going all the way seconds. back through spawn. I really don't know if there's time know. for this, JKS. I don't know, Justin. He's got to have his trainers on. He's got to be running as fast as he can. Yeah. This will be a buzzer beater of a round it's if lost. you two want to do it. It's lost. There's nothing you can do. 20 seconds on the rotate. They, they can't do it. They can't do it. They've lost this map. They've lost this map to time. Astralis didn't even realize that they were winning the map right now. That is mad. They'd relegated this to the save, but it gets so muddled. It gets so lost in translation for G2 that they run out of time. And that's what gives it over to Astralis. You don't win maps like that every day. Wow been called into question at times and some of the calls being made there confusing us. Astralis coming in with a fresh squad and confident display but Nico answers with some shots of his own. Three kills of the P250 all down middle and Stair is a dead man. He just needs to make it so G2 can just run their way at him. Knives are out and Nico comes in with a bang. But yeah, it, it did hurt for, for Nico and towards the end of that T side, some of those you know, entry rounds that, you know, just five on fours, not traded. And Astralis are ready for this. They've pulled a third player over. Yeah. Perfect timing. Stair lets them all in as well. No one checks it. Hunter goes underneath. He still hasn't even fired. Hunter won't check this, but he's been heard. So Stair swivels and takes that kill, but his teammates fall inside of the site. Gap in the smoke. Honestly, can exploit it, but Stair jumps back to safety to play retake. We've got flashes. We've got kits, but we've also got Monacy posted at quad. Oh, first shot lands, Monacy deals with Borup and now he learns about Devices Orb all the way back at CT. So as far as they're concerned, ooh, oh. they've just got to worry about this rotate through ruins. Well, bang or lose, that's your only option. There's no way Stair can get out of this angle. <gasps> what? He hits a blinder. Monacy misses his and JKS anchoring now has to lock it down in a 1v1. He hears Device and he gets out of dodge. There is no time for this round and Device has to run away, not even with his AWP. G2 scream down the halls and save themselves from humiliation, winning their fourth round. JKS even grabs that orb and Device dies to the bomb. Mag 7. All right, Device. Go on. All right. New look Deve on the mag. Doesn't get shared. Oh. Device! Two kills off of his mag 7 makes this round very interesting now. And you it's can't... just JKS with the bomb in apartments. He can't drop out anymore. Got Instead, cancel. yeah, the onus would have to be on these players in middle, moving up through short to alleviate some of this pressure. Monacy's trying to do that right now, but he's got his work cut out for him. Monacy has to be the guy to open this. Monacy's got to be the guy that brings them Good into luck. the fold, and he never even accounts for Pit. He is oh. dead to the buzz. Deagle, who comes alive in the nighttime down in the pit. No swat in this fly, not in this round. Just Nico left standing. First kill goes his way, but it is a mammoth task here. This crossfire between sight and pit is so strong, too hard for him to deal with, perhaps. He considers that maybe his best option is to look for other avenues, look for an escape plan, a get out clause B. here. And he is going to make that decision, running it all the way through the speedway. Now, this was heard by Blame F, who's trying to get ahead of him on the timings. This is a real mind game taking place here. Nico, cognizant that he could have been heard, but he's got to oh, believe. Yeah. Taps on it. Oh. And Blame F still <laughs> collects. My goodness. They've lost rounds to not plotting before, so every bone in your body thinks he's going to commit to the plant, and yet Blame F, quick reactions up through Banana, plays it perfectly. When Device gifts you a double opener on the Mag 7, you, yeah. you do not, you know, you do not let him down. You don't throw away that opportunity. NT for Nico, but what more can you do there? 5 7 hits Diff. Device, he's going to see this fast mid play, and Borob has to be ready right now because his team has smoked off. Molotov will help out. Borob runs through the flames, and Nico hunts him down. Doesn't even choose to try and hang around and fight there. G2 just keep the pace going. Nico hops into the site, and again, he's had enough. When Nico activates, G2 look like a different team entirely as he takes a third headshot over the graveyard. Oh! Nico burying them here. Four kills, just blame F and vengeance will taste oh so sweet.
And, you know, it, it's crazy that this seems to be what G2 try to do to solve these yeah. problems, is it's just Nico saying, fine, you know, we, we, we need someone to do something right, I'll be that guy. He's going to have a much harder time doing that on the AWP, so that responsibility has got to fall down the line. Here's the push out through the top of Banana. Three strong in the sight for Astralis, oh. and a lineup out of Device. It just seems set in stone, written in the stars that Device would always find the path with this AWP upon his return. And he's sent them out. Even though JKS has got all this yeah. space, it, it doesn't create much. It's not super comfortable. And there was no time to win the round anyway. Stalemate. Astralis are fine letting G2 save. They know it's a very awkward round to save your guns in. And, uh, you know, this earlier stack to go back and reinforce A. Cool. They throw this smoke that gives the illusion through. that they can wrap CT, but it's actually Hoopsie walking it to make contact oh. first. Lamef going to deal with Hunter. Spam damage coming in. Hoopsie looking worse for wear as he's trapped in the library. No way. On an island Blame. here. And Blame F. Whoa, <laughs> the rooting back through the yeah. molly is kind of crazy. Thought, Thought he would have pushed further afield. But the rest of the gang will hold the line. No problems for Astralis yet. Nico looking to cause them. G2 have got to be heads up in these fights. They, they, they're, they're aware of this crossfire. They're cognizant of it. Nico can't find it, though. And that crossfire... Broken by pushing up mid. Yeah, it's another one of these like pretty, you know, simple looks of a round where they're trying to explode out over towards middle, taking this space now on the arches. I like this. Hooksy dead. They're wrapping through the spawn. Stair will meet them here. They've got to get past him if they want to have a chance at winning this Ooh. round. And with Blame wow. dead, it took Device coming in with the big green. And removing this bomb, this spawn wrap, and he's even gonna take it one step further. Looking to fight Nico. Okay. He's on with the Deagle. Wants the ability for the instant kill, oh. and he's gonna get it. Device, Deagled out of the round. One more man up close. Low on HP is Buzz, but it won't matter. He does to Nico what Nico did to Device. Gets revenge, and Astralis now are starting to amass quite the CT side. It's all starting to come together. Yeah. Might have had some traded rounds in here, but the G2 bank account now runs dry. That was a swing round in this game. How did Device get hit quick enough as well after Stair falls one for one? He gets it just in time to stop that bomb. And even though Nico pre-aimed, the exact angle buzzes on. Some crucial control taken here by the captain of G2. Is he gonna go further though? Device is ready for that. Haven't seen the orb start in that position. That changes everything. G2 pick up the pace in mid, double stack, blame there to trade. And with a Molotov down, there's nothing G2 can do. They're being dragged back and forth across the map and now back into the orb. Yeah, device left here alone Ooh. on the AWP. Gonna get smoked off oh, in just dear. a second. They're further afield than he was ready for. Nico is right next to him. Yeah. Looking to knock out this orb from the other side. Gonna drop that smoke at CT, but they hear the tag on the Molly. No! Nico burns! How? It spreads last second, How? and it follows him into the smoke. Now that smoke fades, nice causing fade. nothing but problems. At least Monacy baits the peak from Device. That's something. But Double they're waiting mates. with a nade stack. They're waiting with the nade stack back in spawn. Blame is still even over at A. They tap on the bomb, oh. they bait the nades out, and now they look to hunt down these two players on the spawn side. Monacy can't do it. Stair holds the line. And Astralis are just unrelenting in these rounds. Your device giving it up to the double nades. G2 read the double nades. They chase both players in spawn. Uh, poor Nico, that looks unbelievable. That, that actually spreads and takes him down even after he drops off the top of the coffins. Feel like the smoke will cover you there. And Stair yeah, puts up another massive multi kill in spawn. Down banana, but it's at the right time, isn't it? Because it's only Nico here in middle, lining up flashes. And now you know exactly what was in store. Buzz with his eyes on the apartments. They come flooding through. It might be the blood flood, though, as Borg drops another. Device picks out Hunter, and it's an easy-peasy round for Astralis, taking the lead back. Oh, Device. Swinging around on the short side. First contact made at Hooksy. Borup dies immediately down in the pit, so this is all eyes on Device. Oh, this dear. is one man versus the world. Oh, and Device thrives in this environment. Look at him go. Finally locked out by Nico. But he did what he had to do, and then some in this round. Nico's been the one guy to make it happen for G2. 
And one guy to try and bring them back into the fold. He needs this clutch and he won't be able to find it. Stare again and again locks G2 out of these critical moments. And while it starts strong for the G2 squad, it's Astralis celebrating come the end of this first half. The star Astralis hoped for, he has delivered in this series. Smoke for the pit, there's only device there though. They're entrenched within the bomb site. Nico needs something magical in from long side. It's J uh, JKS moving in first, doesn't clear his corner. Bomb takes one, there's the backstab for Stare, and they start to fall. G2 with no solution, no answer to this call from Astralis, and it's a pistol round to boot on the back of a beautiful CT side. Hunter's going to be this first point of contact. He at least wins that out, but it is traded, equalized. JKS out with one. Good damage. Buzz has been hurt over here Ooh. in the apartments. They know about him, but that's oh, what honestly meant to deal with. Blame F did just kill his teammate, and now he's okay. thrown into this all okay. alone. Tried to tee himself up for the highlight clip. But with only 10 seconds left, right. Blame F just going to look to get out of there. G2 want to try grab some of these dropped guns up through the short side, and Blame is saving. They needed a miracle, a nade kill from Blame F onto his teammates. A couple of good shots out of the G2 side. Nothing feels sacred, nothing feels safe if you're G2. Nico still fighting, down banana, gives up this kill. This is now two freebies on this banana fight for Astralis. They've not even had to put much into this position to get great results out of it. Hooksy has got to contain this. He cannot fall here. If he goes down, this is a round for Astralis, and suddenly they're extending that lead all over again. Smollied. G2 forced out into the open. These rotates far away. And Astralis have done enough to get the site Bates. here. The nades rain in. That levels the playing field. That has to be the move that lets G2 attempt this retake. But for them, it's not enough to just attempt. They need victory. They need the results here. It wasn't meant to get this close. It wasn't meant to be this down to the wire. But this is where we find ourselves in flame effort device. Two signature players for Astralis left in it, playing it perfectly between one oh. another. And Blame F from the pool cleans it all up. You're in safe hands when it's him and Device left standing. Yeah, a firm grip on Blame, I've heard, and two kills to close it. And that's not a gun that you buy if you're not feeling confident. Yeah. I, okay. That's just not a gun that you buy. You could have ended the sentence there. Yeah, true. Go in apartments at least, jump out pit, but... Um, just crazy. We're in another spot where it's like Nico has to, has to win this round, essentially. He's got to get out with a multi-kill here. Well, one kill from him. Deagle up close. Oh, oh he's deadly with it. Another from Nico and okay. Hooksy lines them up. An unlikely combo come together on that B site for G2. They won't have the info. They have to react if and when Astralis take fights. They've only seen players at B, so they rotated a third man over. That's left it all Ooh. on the double pit setup. JKS is overran. Nice Hunter shots. gets out with two. He's done what he had to in this round to turn the advantage in G2's favor. But a plant comes in. Astralis are not out of this one yet. Right now, they've got to watch Moto. They know these rotates have scrambled in. They know where it's going to come from. Flash goes high. Second one to follow, Buzz swings on the back of it, a light sprinkling of damage, he's drawing attention Ooh. away from Device, and Device will combine, they find a killer piece, it's left onto Nico, who's running out of time, and Device will not let them pass, Astralis, they keep the Force by Wars going, just back and forth. Astralis do look convinced, they do look committed, they just want to gung-ho into this bomb site. Monacy hits the eagle, oh why stop, why end the madness here, let's just trade rounds all day, Bora pulls out nades, Nico needs to hit the deagle, he does on the third shot, Monacy follows up, and blink and you miss it, no one can get comfortable at the start of this half, so keep this AK going into the next, G2, survive, 30 seconds of smoke's come down. Astralis have to run through as it fades. And G2 are walking their rotate. They may as well just get in position. Nico needs to multi-kill and he gets deeped out, but there's no smoke down. These sprays are not pretty and they will be punished. They will be picked apart. The bomb gets planted. 10 seconds, guns shuffled over and Astralis are looking to win a round they had no business in. This is an AK and a Deagle getting you into the post plant. 
If Astralis can find this, we're right back on to this weird start to the game. Buzz tucked in, goes uncleared, but Monacy turns around oh. and they will hound down Blame F. Still. Now just two left to deal with. Device in at the back of the site. He's been instrumental in rounds like this. There's a lot of time ticked off the bomb and Borup is just wasting more seconds. Seconds that G2 don't have. Device finally oh, dealt with and Monacy will find Borup Phew. to allow this round to come through, but it's not comfortable. It's not clean. The stress was there. The, the kind of essence of that crossfire. But Astralis had no intentions of meeting them there. Instead, picking up the pace on this B play. Nico's underhanded a smoke to cause okay. a bit of chaos in the pool. Flashed in. He's going to play on the back of nice. it. And Nico puts a leash on the Astralis B play. Monacy <laughs> back turned on Blame F. That one's free. And it's just Buzz left to beat. Monacy and Nico combine for four between them. Point gives Nico room to move. And finally, yeah, Monacy has uh, a bit more of a round here in the CT side where he's able to play into it. Lovely moves. Astralis get caught looking a little foolish there with that smoke in the way. They don't know where to look, where to clear. And their buy rounds will not last long. Back to pistols, back to pace, into B, and in your face, Monacy! Oh! Three digs in three shots, and he wants oh! every single one. Have you ever seen something like that? My goodness! Take a bow, Monacy! It'd been the Nico show up until this point, but with that display right there, Monacy cements himself as a real front runner in this series. That might be and if these two can find their footing, I mean, that's probably player of the year right yeah. there. Look at this. <laughs> Unbelievable scenes. Like it's a pug, like it's easy. Like it's on rails. That is beautiful. Okay, it's a different game now. Double peak, double hold, and traded for two. Buzz gets out with the goods. He's going to run it as well. If he can get quickly out and beat Monacy's scope, he can win this round for Astralis at the same time. Offering up a three on three is the risk. He won't take it. They go back to B. G2 are two players here. Monacy assured solo in the site. Got to care this apartment. Monacy sure. hits it. He's not missing now. Reagro at B is very dangerous. Well timed on Nico's push though, but he's yeah. caught with nades out. It's stare in the corner. A 1v2 for Monacy. When you've just had a play like that in the last round, all the adrenaline, all of it coursing through your veins. There's that voice in the back of his head right now that's telling him, why not try it? But stare has gone deep. Stare is deeper than Monacy is ready for. And so he will be swift with the reply. Stare. With Hunter playing from back here at Moto, he's going to be able to play around this smoke. Use that to duck in and out of cover, but the Molly burns JKS forward, flying through the air. He somehow gets out with a double. Now the big question is, will Device check for Hunter? The time, oh, the time is awkward. Had to go back and get Hunter. the ball. He's just going to plant it, but Hunter can stop this oh. right now, and he will. Daylight robbery from Hunter. And an awkward reaction of that bomb getting dropped forces Device's hand to plant that wide, and in doing so, he's sold in that round. Flashes well timed. It causes this to taper off. Hooksy. Uh oh. It's going to be isolated over a long. Won't really be able to be involved uh -oh. here. And his teammates are run down inside of the site. JKS dead after one. And Hooksy, sure, he arrives now. But he's got to get something out of it. And the one and done does not tip the scales enough to make this a safe bet for the G2 round. However, Monacy and Nico, these are the two candidates you want left standing if you're G2. You believe in these two to win you the round. Blame F. As the captain, but right now he's just got to worry about himself. He's boxed in at the oh. back of the site, and now they know about him. The info there for G2, they run him down, and just like that, it's them in pole position. And even if Astralis don't commit here, that's kept G2 passive for now. Boost is a lovely call to make at this point. Over the top of the long smoke, Hunter finds that five on four and G2 have been so solid at closing out these advantageous rounds without a flash in the pocket. Astralis need to do it on gunfire uh, uh, gun alone. Oh, but Hunter's dead immediately. Monacy moves in with the orb. He's gone as well. JKS Ooh. from down in the pit, from bottom of the board, looks to try and safeguard this for G2. Take a bow, Justin.
as he looks to make this happen. Blame F backstabbed, and it's JKS from the pit to send them packing and lock in a three-map series. After all, Monacy in this game was just a delight. That is player of the year. Maybe uh, that, it's just an unreal, a spectacle is what we just got to witness there. And with the individuals getting switched online, with the shots hitting, the usual G2 BS finding its way, maybe there's still hope for them yet. A home map for the Danes, a home map for Astralis, and it's one that G2 have struggled on in recent time. But an epic series deserves an epic conclusion. And so let's get into this without further ado. Device opens up. Hooksy with the reply, making his debut at Cologne, in with a double. And he's going to send Astralis down lower. He's never been to the Langsness. He's never been in the arena, and it is never an easy road to get there. Astralis in a 2 on 4 fighting back, and Hooksy tries to spam him through the smoke. The bomb will be planted. That Vermo rotate is crept down, but Device is covering. This P250 can be lethal in the post part, and it will certainly need to be as it swaps off, in fact, to the dual Berettas, back to the double door. There is no kid. Device can win this round with a couple of well-placed shots. They need to kill him quick together, and Device only puts down one more. It's going to be G2 with a pistol as they try and fight forward. Oh, fake this out. Is, yeah, this is a very late play that they're looking to make. It's going to be JKS, the, the real focal point here. Now the rest of G2 know that this play is coming in at lower. JKS, I like this decision. He backs out of there. He's trying to waste time, trying to be a nuisance, and he's nice. doing a great job of that. JKS does all he has to, and then some. Stair is getting hounded from every single angle. Wherever he chooses to fight, he's open to something. Too many angles, and he's just one man. It's so over ramp by G2. Nico's teed up for success here, flashed in by JKS. He'll only get out with one. Blame F was ready to respond there. And now Hooksy can hear them running amok down at lower. Question is, is he going to hold? Oh. Bide his time for Stair outside. Doesn't matter. Stair finds him first. They JKS in the 1v3, already down on the lower side. But this is where Stair, you know, being kind of let off the leash. He's going to go. He's going to clear the upper side. He calls, guys. There's no one up here. The vent rotate is safe. And so they will bypass. Dropped him back site. Or he's got the perfect position on B to stop us coming through doors. So that's uh, why we have that conversation on would it be better to you know, keep things fresh, even if it is just swapping players in and out in certain rounds during maps. This is bad for Astralis, though. This is ultra bad. Nico, will he hold the shot? Oh my yes. goodness, trying to get as much as he can out of it, uses the trigger discipline to execute too, and with that the round unravels for Astralis, Nico's like a ghost, a ghostly apparition, a demon in the back of the lobby that they were not ready for, and he's even going to hound down another. Beautifully wow. played from Nico. Great round. He'll never realize why they were so unprepared for him outside, why no one was ready for that. JKS, though, how about ramp rushing? He hears that first guy come through. He's going to have to abandon this completely, running amok as Stair chases him down. There's a good grenade. If they swing with it, they will walk slowly into JKS's crosshair. Two headshots is lovely, and that's a costly B take for Astralis. I'd be surprised if they can convert this. G2 are right here at the doors. Yeah, very well played from JKS in that position. The, the drop down was about half oh. a second later than you would have liked. Still gets out of it with a lot. But Device is really looking to make this round intriguing. He's on some super weird routing here if you're G2. Uh -oh. Now this is going to be heard by Nico. And Device should never check this. Device should never be ready for this. And he's not. So that orb gets its head cut off. One head off the beast, a second found, and just Borup left to beat. G2 flow over Astralis down at lower. It starts with a lovely double out of JKS, and Hooksy's getting loud now. Yeah. They're all given 1v1s. They make it look so easy. And that's after JKS, in a very difficult position, yeah. gets out with a double kill. I, I wanted to talk about it more, but obviously, you know, so much is happening in that moment. He, he kind of dropped down the ramp on like a bit of an odd timing because he tried to take that yeah. first fight. So that actually left him with less time than your ramp anchor likes to have. He looks like he wants to get involved, put this orb in the picture, and that's one way to do it. Up in front of the door smoke gets that entry. Astralis wanted to hit this top site. That's called into question. Yeah, you lose the door component, it gets a lot more awkward now. You're just kind of funneled through this fatal hole over towards the front of heart. Blame Whoa. F. 
Good damage on the spam, but that's so little to write home about in this moment. He knows one's still lobby side though, or roof. Flashes come over somehow through a window, perhaps. Blame still gets the kill. A two on four save should be good. I love these flashes. Wow, Blame. He's full blind just shooting as JKS comes up the ladder. It's a very efficient save here for Astralis, but G2. Yeah, there's a pretty desperate decision. Oh, they're going to try to go back outdoor again. You, you're hoping that Monacy is trying to reposition on his orb. So you use that against G2. Hooksy is the hero of this round, though. Dropping in at the back of the site. The anchor man arrives. And now it's just Ooh. Device. Knows about the Heaven player. Knows about the backside player. There's still one man unaccounted for, and that's making Device uneasy. He's going to try and fight the battle he knows about, and he deals with Hooksy. He's ready for that re-peak out of the heavens, and when he isn't given it, he gets suspicious. Why have I not been traded yet? So he'll go hunting, oh. and he finds JKS in the back of the lobby. This is a fantastically played one-on-three from Device, but there's one man still to beat. Monacy gave him the wave earlier on. Look at this. Device reply with a smile. And now it's going to be Device's time in the limelight. Bomb retrieved. Plant found, Monacy out through the door, and oh! Device executes him! Clinically done, and he <laughs> returns the favor! Beautiful scenes, Device shows. You could just see the awareness, you know, it was in the positions that he knew about, that was how he figured out where the man he didn't know about was, like some sort of ICBM, look at him. So here we are, JKS aggroing into the lobby, G2 want their revenge. And they're doing it by trying to take away this staging platform for Astralis. They've taken the lobby control, and now Astralis have this awkward decision where they have to try and retake this, that they can't let G2 have it. They don't have any pressure outside. They don't have any presence there. So they've got to go fight for the lobby. And every step of the uh -oh. way, it's thwart with danger. Even though Device is out in the A site, Blame F is pinned in, and they know he cannot be anywhere else. So it's down to Device to deliver go again. On. Molly swings <laughs> Monacy wide, and and this time, he wins it out. Yeah, full focus, not looking up from his screen after that one. Nico knows about stare outside. He called it. He left it completely. Hunter's not even considering this with his knife out in the vent. That looked like a rotation called, but instead, just confused, dazed, dead. Nico does find Bor up on ramp, but that bomb has snuck down into secret, into this B site. G2 on the retake here. This round shouldn't even be close. Yes, there is the one who got away. It's all going to get thrown onto him in the clutch, and he's low on health. So this is where the mop-up should look to come through. Two players out from ramp. Hooksy clearing the back oh. line, but Stair adds another to the tally. Oh, no and way. one more for Stair. Low on HP, but not a care in the world. It's Nico left to beat. Nades the door off. This is such a strong post plant. Stair can pick and choose his battles and all the pressure. It's all on Nico now, running him down. Even though he gets the kill, Stair has done enough. Beautifully done from the man who has so often been touted as the next hot thing in Denmark. Monacy has had enough. Gonna put his money where his mouth is, back in the door. Looking for danger, and he's found it around every corner. Buzz removed, device get picked outside as well, and Nico letting no one slip by in these smokes. He's gonna find stair this time. Five on two, and G2 recover very well. Yeah, out of all the ways that this round could have gone, it's perfect for G2. The two players that they wanted finding contact first, that they wanted involved early, that they set up to be involved early, do get those engagements. And it just starts to fall apart for Astralis past that point. They're behind him, they're in front of him everywhere he goes. G2 look to occupy. And so the best case scenario now for Blame F is that he gets to hold on to his AK, and not even that is a given as Hunter hunts them down. G2 for G2, the fact that they can lose two, you know, unbelievable clutches. Like the device one's just super well played, but the stair one's definitely, you know, uh, a, a missed move for G2. And still, G2 are looking like they might find 11-4 at the end of the half. That's great resilience mentally.
And it's looking like a ramp hit again. JKS has not had a problem. One round, he's fallen one for one on ramp. Every other time, he's escaped with his life and done more than that as well. Good tag, though. He's kind of trapped out here in the corner. They're going to run through the smoke as well. He doesn't know where to look. Blame is right behind him. And G2, they can't save this time. They've got to save the day. Oh, Hooksy's going to keep getting chased here. Nice that one shot. fight is not the end of the line, but he will quell that ag aggression through the double doors. Devices, Deagle, Domes one. But Nico replies, and things slow down for Astralis. If they want to leave, this is the only route out. And this is the last place you look. Oh, on the swing, he's dinked immediately. Nade could find Buzz, certainly could. Brings him down low, but not enough to get the kill. Nice. Hooksy returns the favor, the advantage put back in favor of G2. Blame F. How about another clutch? Never giving him a moment of rest here to get set up for this post plant. Util goes out now. Blame F looking to give Astralis five at the end oh. of the half, and they nearly <laughs> line up for him. But Hunter will get the trade. G2 come together beautifully by the time Nuke rolls around, and they're sat just five rounds away. Or will this be made into a meal? Yeah, outside of a couple of clutches, that's all Astralis were able to find. Monacy opens up the pistol as G2 come in confident with a fast top sight hit. Ends up even in a four on four. They want this one to end with a bang. They know that winning the pistol is basically enough to, to lock you in this series. And look at the moves that Hunter's making right now. All the way in through ramp. This backstab could be timed perfectly. They've got knives pulled. He will only get one from it. That's going to pressure these players out of the heavens on the back of the flash. They've got to fight forward as Hunter corrupts the backline. Bested by Borup and Buzz floats into the site to tap the bomb. Baiting peaks. Nico finds him. Just Borup in this 1v2. And G2 don't have to fight him. They don't have to give him the satisfaction. And Nico will go hunting anyway as G2 pick up the pistol. They want this win. The hands are not tied. They don't have to follow through with the B play, even if that's where the bomb is, even if that's where the bulk of these players are. Honestly, Fine. quick work to find device. Does this make them want to follow through? Because Nico runs in, will end up falling at the hands of the 5-7. Buzz still alive, still a threat, buying time in at the back of the site while his teammates thin the rest of the herd. I'm scared. Buzz is finally dealt with, but he gets away with a lot of damage as they show him the door. And now it's Stare oh, with yes. that scavenged Galil from last yes. round, 1v2. They're going to try and dupe him and get ahead on the rotate. They need every advantage they can get right now with these two players low. To win this round, Monacy giving him nothing and Stare sneaking in. But silence will not help you today. Miss shot, it's fine. It's I'm fine. not sweating and neither a G2. Hunter can afford to check this first, can afford to die. He doesn't even do so. It's Stare who will not survive. And G2, the pacifist approach. Everyone dies. Except Monacy. 14 to 4 and that's one way to do it because he can't really afford to fall. Suddenly the B site goes dark and he barely even gets info on that peak. Dead immediately, Buzz rotates in swiftly, looking to take up where his teammate left off and he will deal with the double lower push. Contained nicely by Astralis, Monacy and JKS are left to worry about, but they're nowhere to be found here. Monacy might try and give a bit of room across to JKS to come in on this flank through ramp. He himself is getting hunted oh. through the lobby, and so the one and done is all he gets. Right now, Monacy knows he's got a 1v1 in the B site. He almost wants to try and pressure this. He wants to try and take it. Yeah, his molly was so good. If he actually fought with it, he would have killed Buzz, who, who sat in it for two seconds and just swings out. Monacy tries to use that molly to predict another player's swing to help him out. It's a nice idea, but it's not enough to win the round here today. Util raining in over the top. He hears the footsteps, and uh -oh. yeah, there's that one and done you talk about. That's exactly what G2 wanted here. They were set up for the trade. They've got themselves into B. Borup, first man on the scene, drops in down the vents. Nico is controlling and manipulating these ramp rotates if Astralis look to go for it right now. Everyone's still on upper with the exception of Borup. 
At least his presence down here on B allows for Vent to be used as a point of rotation. But re-smoked no. in at the double doors. This is starting to get really Ooh, awkward. No You've kicks. imposed a horrible situation here. You've all got to flood out through Decon and win fight after fight, wave after wave of G2 players ready to meet them there. Hunter goes one for one. The MP9s move into the site. They get up close where they do their best work. But dealing with Monacy and JKS back in the doors. I mean, that's wishful thinking. And Astralis now try to head out of there. Now try to save G2. No! With not much to offer in this round, they find it. They deal with that lone B site player. Yeah, that's a call of desperation for Astralis, right? 14-5 call. You have no kit. They have to dedicate a bit of attention into the lobby just to hold on to this. Smoke down, bar up on the other side, and walking outside is a death sentence for Hooksy. When you see him walking close to the main smoke like that, you're anticipating that that was the beginning of a bit of a top sight hit. The flashes do enough to stifle these door players. It grinds to a very awkward halt now, and bar up alongside Stair will farm on the MP9s. It's just Monacy. 1v4, AWP in his hand. Minute left to play with, so you're gonna see him float around, see if anything's offered up. Has already decided he will not attempt this round. Uh -oh. Device wants more than uh -oh. that. Him and Monacy have developed a bit of a rivalry across this game. The gestures to one another down the desk, down the sidelines when they oh. open up, and Monacy hunted down by his AWP in counterpart on the other side. That'll give Device the big green at least, and that's something for Astralis to look forward to. So all moving in the right direction, but will that be enough to keep this Ooh. match alive? Hooksy does not seem to think so, oh. but Device is quick with it He's in the off. reply. Deeg out, he does it with the sidearm. Returns the lead to Astralis in the round, but now they've got to contest with this plant down lower. Hooksy dies a hero in just selling this A play while they all drop down the vent. It's a very cheeky move for G2, and it's getting weirder by the second with Hunter inside of the smoke. Oh, they spam it. Did they hear that? They did. And Hunter gets cleared out from the miss. Two on four. Someone needs to save the day, and it might be down to JKS, but flicked by Borob. Astralis get a commanding and convincing retake on that lower site. Got this backside molly from Monacy and lots of flashes that are just going to cycle in. Stair needs to dodge the right ones, but he's blind after an instant. He just commits staring into the white as he sprays away. Dodges that next one. A nice attempt from Stair. Bore up on top of the hut with a smoke in his face. Doesn't matter to him. He hits three heads and Hunter has to reset and try and squeeze something out of this round. It's a good escape from Hunter. To commit into certain death on that A site is not the move. This at least gives him options. And there are a lot of options open right now. They're going to hear him. They, they know the game's afoot. They know what's happening here. But now you've got to deal with it. Device and Buzz, the two left up against Hunter. Armed with only the Tech 9. Hunter's looking for a clutch to end this for G2. Early on in this series, this was the only way they could win rounds. Now they look to win the whole series on the back of one. Hunter up close, oh! and the Tech 9 delivers. Hunter with the close, and the uncrowned kings of G2 pick up some steam towards the end of this series. They believed in the five-man unit, one of the few squads to not make changes over the player break, heading into the new season. We were questioning the synergy early on you were questioning if they were all there and i think that's where you have to look at nico he held down the fort long enough for reinforcements to arrive and for g2 to put their best foot forward yeah for astralis it's not nose in the dirt this is definitely a roster to be intimidated by inside of the clone group stage a very difficult group ahead of them but the best astralis we've seen at least since cologne 22 when they made it to the semi-finals in the Lanxus arena they want to do it again under a legendary organizational name astralis with a good form right now.